Next area we're going to go to now is the email in an attachment of documents. Okay. So, first and foremost, uh, for the people out there who are currently using, or for the current users who are using, if I just open up, I'm just going to open up a simple debtor or customer screen. And anyone would know out there that the little pieces of paper, wherever you see these little pieces of paper, is the attachment, the old attachment functionality. Uh, and I say the old attachment functionality. If I click on it now, uh, you'll see the, there's the old attachment functionality where I can put in my attachments and then when I click on the paper clip here I can actually attach documents. Now if I click on it because I've activated the new attachment functionality you will notice I have a slightly different screen. So what Microsoft is doing is it's moving the functionality that was previously behind that paper clip to this new attachment functionality. So if I now use um, I'll just discard that if I go to an inventory item, I'll just come up and open up an inventory item here, and I'll bring up the first inventory item. You can see here across the top my ribbon, across my ribbon strip across the top here, my attachment uh, paperclip here is now showing the paperclip with a good old piece of paper. And, and for all those users out there who have been using this already, will know that any, a paperclip with a little piece of paper behind it means there is attachments uh, up, uh, there. So I will click on that, and that will open up for this particular inventory item, the list of attachments. And you can see here there's a couple of attachments I have. So I have a JPEG called Green Phone JPEG, which is a picture of the, uh, the inventory item, and a PDF manual. Yeah? So I can click on these at any time and say preview. And you can see there's a PDF, there's a PDF of a, um, which is attached to this item. So I don't have as many of these as I like. These attachments, when I've created them, there's a bit of setup here that when I when I attach the uh, attachment to the item, I nominate whether that attachment flows through to the, the uh, transactions and whether I allow it to be sent out on emails. So what's all that about? Let's have a look. Now that functionality I'm talking about here, this screen you'll see is the same whether I'm attaching documents to a customer, a supplier, an inventory item, a transaction, etc., etc. Yeah. So I can attach. Uh, everywhere where there was a paper clip in the past, basically this has now been um, replaced. So, so okay, so let's have a look how, how this all works and how it all comes together. So now I'm going to open up my typical sales transaction entry screen, and I come in here and I'm going to generate an invoice straight from the get-go, and I'm going to say it's for good old Aaron Fitz, and I'm going to put in my patch, and I come down here to the item number. I'm going to put in that 100 XLG, that item that we were just looking at a minute ago. So I'm going to put this on the invoice here. Yeah, one of those at 59.95. Now, we all know that we can email. Hopefully, we know that that we can email uh, invoices directly out to the um, to the customer using the email functionality. That was functionality that was added back in the 2010, and then obviously in 2013, it's uh, been extended that functionality. So before I do though, what I'm going to do is under my Actions button here, I have a new option that allows me to say select which attachments to include in the email. So I'm going to click on that. So what you can see here, what the system is now doing is identifying that, hey, on line one of this invoice, that item has attachments that we can pull through and include. So I'm going to tick those and say, yeah, I want to send those along with the invoice to the client. So I say OK. Then all I do is I do my normal emailing out of this invoice. Now when I email out and say yes, yeah, once I save it first, say so, yep, yeah, email the invoice out to the client. So yes, yeah, send it in an email, hit the print button, generate an email. So in the background what that's doing is generating an email. I'll just close this screen down. I go switch over to Outlook. I should see it might take a little while to generate, but I should see an email come through with so here I am potentially logged on as a customer. Uh, I can see it sitting in my outbox. And I should get it through my inbox in a minute now. 
There we go. And there I have in my inbox, as the customer now, in my inbox, an email that's come through with the invoice, so in PDF format. So if I just open that up, yes, there it is. That's using the word template functionality, if you guys aren't aware. So that, that, e that email has been using the word template functionality to generate the PDF. So there's the, the invoice itself. But also alongside of that, we can see here, there's the JPEG. So there's a nice picture of the uh, phone in this case. And also the PDF, which I had attached to the item. So we're able to see there that we can generate uh, using the attachment functionality now, we can pull through and generate emails directly to our clients pulling through that. So this is, once again, I've used the example of using the, the sales and sales invoice to pull that through and push it out to the, to the customer in this case. But that functionality can be used in other areas as well. So yes, we can use the purchase order functionality. In the purchase order functionality, we can use this and do use that pull through uh, attachment functionality. Um, and the, the most pertinent point is that if you are using the current OLE uh, paperclip functionality for attachments, that Microsoft has developed a little utility that will pick up any attachments that you have in place at the moment and migrate it across to this new functionality so that we can um, use this pull-through attachment functionality. So there we have it. 